see we just hit the 500 mile break-in period All right, today we're going to we got the 500 mile break-in period and we're actually going to drain the uh the gear oil that we put in there from last week and we're going to put the new gear oil in. We're going to take a look at the gears, take a look at everything. I'm going to send Steve picks, make sure everything's breaking in properly and put some new gear oil in, new friction modifier and everything like that. Um over the past couple of days I've been hearing horror stories about Yukon lately and I'm hoping this is not going to happen to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out. After I get the gear rolling, then drive it around a little bit, break, let it flow around, let it mix up good. I'm sorry, and then I'm going to friggin' yeah, I'm going to do some hits to see how it holds up and make sure everything sound look is uh getting good and stuff like that. So let's take this off. All right, guys, took the diff cover off, drained the fluid. There was some metal shavings in there that is completely normal. Uh, I don't know if you could see it too well now, but yes, there was metal shit. There is metal shavings in there. That's fine because of the way the gears. You know, um, where <laughs> there's always gonna be metal shavings because new gears hitting new gears. But um, I just sent I just sent uh, pics to Steve. I want you know we said get close up with it, put the flash on. I want him to look at it, make sure it looks like it's wearing properly. I'm not a friggin' um, mechanic. I don't know. I mean, I did look at Yukon um, uh, Yukon thing online on a, a little video. They showed what it looks like to be a proper break-in period. Uh, not the best break-in period and a catastrophic and to me honestly not just saying it, it, it i did it the right way i took 500 miles i babied it no heavy acceleration nothing like that and i um you know it looked very very close to the proper break-in period it did doesn't look like it was brand new obviously because it's not it broke in i did have metal shavings but um it's hard to really see everything from a video and uh Hopefully, everything goes well. Everything seems good so far. And hopefully, we can get to the track on Tuesday and send it. All right, guys. We got the all the gear oil drained. I talked to Steve. He actually... It sucks because I'm not going to be racing Tuesday. He wants me to do another oil change during the week to get all the little metal shavings out from how bad it was last time to all the stuff, all the new gears breaking in. But he did say... Sorry, I'm a little out of breath and running around doing crazy shit. But he did say all the uh, the gears are they look really broken and they look they look good. They're like broken in properly, and it makes me you know it feels good. But I'm not gonna be beating on it until I mean I may go to the track Friday depending on what he says. If he thinks it's recommended, if we get all the gear oil out, I'm gonna clean it all out with a rag, put more gear oil in, and then we're gonna do it again. Possibly I think Wednesday depending on how many miles I can get on the truck, and then we'll uh. So you go from there and maybe possibly hit the track Friday, break it in more. But I am, I want to break these in properly. I don't want anything to break. We're getting all the right stuff, the right oil, the right friction modifier and everything else. So let's hope everything goes good. We're going to get the gear oil in. We'll take it for a test drive and uh, see how it feels. This sucks. Use the air. All right, well, yeah, we um, got the oil in, took it for a test drive. Everything is good. Everything seems exactly like it should be. Gears are broken in properly, looked really good, really clean. Even looking, I looked at one of the videos Yukon made about the proper, what they look like after they're properly broken in, what they look like if they're not broken in properly, and a catastrophic damage on them if they look, you know. So I did it the right way. I, they look almost like really good compared you know to the video that they showed i just looked at the video sent the photos to steve so he could take a look at it also he said they're looking really good really clean but he said because of how much metal shavings he does not want any metal shavings in there so we're going to do another a lot of a lot of uh, metal shavings came out when i when i drained the oil and which was a good thing because all the metal shavings from prior to the break-in period all that metal came out but he said he doesn't he's like i want you to do another oil change before you even get to the track so what what I did is I ran the AutoZone. I got another um, couple more can, a couple quarts of uh, the recommended oil. I had another thing, a friction modifier. I used that up. I put that in, and I actually still have more for another oil change during the middle of the week. So that's good. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain all the oil out again on probably Wednesday and um, do the same procedure I just did today. Do the same thing, drain it, clean it, do all this and that, put all the right, put all the Yukon recommended oil back in it on Wednesday because I'm only going to drive it about 200 miles or so, give or take. I don't have to do a full 500. And um, once I do that, I could drain the oil again. Like <laughs> uh, Drain the oil again, get the years broken in, possibly... You know, maybe hit the track Friday, but it's not going to happen Tuesday. I'm, I'm a little upset, but it's fine. I'd rather do it the right way than uh, have anything bad go wrong. And I don't need anything breaking because, I, I, like I said, I, I I heard a lot of horrors. A lot of guys on the forums are destroying these Yukon dips. I didn't. I heard Yukon was a very good product. Let's get it. Let's do it. It's stronger than Mopar, but a lot of guys are destroying the differentials. I don't know if that's from, you know, using a lot of guys... They put synthetic oil in, and you're not. This is they're not recommended for synthetic oil. It's a lot thicker, and I think you jam up the gears and stuff. So that's why, you know, you're not supposed to use synthetic with a Yukon differential in their gears. They get, they recommend uh, AW90 GL5 with a friction modifier, non-synthetic. So that's what we used, and hopefully with that we have no problems. But you know, I, I am a little worried because my truck does launch a lot harder than the other guys that had these broken things. One guy. He lasted uh, uh, off 250 shots off the line, and he's, you know, I think he's got more mods than me, too. But, you know, some guys last, some guys don't. It all depends on who installed it. And I know Steve did it properly. He used a depth gate. He did everything the right way. I've never had any issues with him installing anything. That's why he does all my work, and he's a RAM master tech. So he did it. He did it proper. You know, there is a little bit of noise, gear noise, but that, from what I was reading also, that is actually normal for Yukon gears or any actual aftermarket gears because they have a higher strength steel than OEM. So you're all going to hear a little bit more gear noise and um, than normal, which is fine. I have no problem with that. You know, it's it feels good. It feels really good. It feels, it feels good. But there is a little bit of noise. Most people won't notice it. I notice it probably because of what happened last time if I'm shattering things and hearing things break and stuff like that. So yeah, I will. I noticed it a lot easier, but... Um, you know, it's not even that noticeable, really. It's just a little, you just hear it. It's, it's hard to explain what exactly what it is. Just a little noise. And, um, yeah, that's the braking procedure. It's the 500 miles is done. We'll get 200 on there. Hopefully by Friday, like I said, we hit the track and get, get, get this thing sent. Man, I'm just a little depressed. I can't hit the track Tuesday, but I got to do what's right. You know what it is, guys. Till the next one. Peace.